statistics plays a vital role in every sphere of life. In every field, statistics is used in one form or the other. All research and investigation requires the use of statistics. The introduction to data occurs in the context of an advanced course in statistical analysis. Before beginning, it is essential that you understand the technical language of data. The most basic concepts are the record and the field. A record is simply a line. In some cases, the record contains all the information about an observation. But as has been noted, this is not always true. In this chapter, we will learn about grouping of data, bar graph, pie graphs and probability. Looking for information In our everyday life, we come across certain conclusions such as Cricket is the most favorite sport of youngsters. Story reading is more liked by girls than boys. December and January are the coldest months of the year. The performance of your section in maths is better than the performance of other sections of class 8. How do we reach such conclusions? We collect information from many persons to make the conclusion regarding their preferences. Temperatures and rainfall are measured every month for years to conclude the coldest months. When we compare the performances of two sections, we compare the marks scored by students in each section. Thus, the conclusions drawn are the consequences of detailed study. For this study, we have to collect information, organize and interpret in a certain way. This is how we make an analysis. This leads us to statistics. Statistics Statistics is the branch of science which deals with the collection of information, organizing, analyzing and drawing valid conclusions from the analysis. Thus, the base of statistics is information. The information collected is called data. Data varies from situation to situation as per the change of context. After collecting data, what comes next is its interpretation and presentation which makes the analysis simpler and quicker. Here we will learn about grouping of data. To organize a set of observations or data in the form of a frequency table is called ungrouped frequency distribution of raw data. However, when the number of recorded observations is large, the data is usually organized into groups and then a frequency distribution of the number of observations falling in each group is obtained. When the data is written in this form, it is said to be grouped and the distribution obtained is called a grouped frequency distribution. For example, let us consider the marks of 25 students. The marks of 25 students in mathematics have been organized in the frequency distribution table given here. In the table, we have condensed the raw data of 25 students into 7 groups, that is, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80 and 80 to 90, covering all the observations. Each group is called a class interval or simply a class. Class Limit Every class interval has two limits. The smallest observation of the interval is called the lower limit and the largest observation is called the upper limit. For instance, in the class interval 10 to 20, the lower limit is 10 whereas the upper limit is 20. Class Mark The mid value of the class is called its class mark. It can be obtained by using the following formula. Class Mark is equal to upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. For example, the class mark of interval 10 to 20 is given by 20 plus 10 divided by 2 is equal to 15. Class size, class width. The difference between the upper and lower limits of an interval is called 
class size or class width. Range It is the difference between the two extreme observations, that is, range is maximum observation minus minimum observation.